Greetings, in this video I want to show you how to fix a black screen on any Apple iPad. This particular model is an A2377, but this method will work on old iPads and new iPads. So if you've got a newer one made within the last 10 years, what you want to do is you want to locate the volume up and down here, and then of course you have your power button on the very top near the camera. So what we're going to do is you want to quickly hit the up volume once real quick and then hit the volume down button real quick and then you're going to hold down the the power button for about 10 seconds you're going to go in that order so real quickly I want to tap the up volume button real quick volume down button real quick and then hold down the power button for a good uh, 10 seconds and then what should happen is if it works you should see the Apple logo on your screen. This is with all the new versions. Now, if you have an old version iPad, what you're going to do, there should be a, a, a home button right here on the very bottom, and you're going to hold that down for 10 to 15 seconds to see if that powers it on. Then you should see an Apple logo. Now, if you've tried both of those, that method, and it doesn't work, I want you to locate your power cord and examine it real quick. It's a possibility that your power cord is broken. So make sure, see if you have like a two part like that or it just might be one cord in general. This is called a USB-C cord. Uh, and you want to notice that a lot of uh, Samsung Galaxies use the Apple cord. You should have uh, an extra one laying around. But what I want you to do, if you've been charging it up on your laptop or your MacBook or on the uh, power cord or whatever, what I want you to do is actually locate one of these. It's like a power adapter, and they're pretty much universal. This particular one is an Apple, but you can actually use one from like a Samsung Galaxy. So we can see right here, I have a Samsung Galaxy one right here. And actually, you could put your Apple into the Samsung Galaxy. And I want you to try, if you haven't been plugging up your iPad to a wall, I want you to try to get direct connection to a wall plug this sucker up and then see if that will uh, make it work. What I'm getting at is basically your power cord's broken. So I want you to plug it into a wall and let it sit for a good you know, 30 minutes to an hour. Let it fully charge and then plug it and then turn it back on and see if it works. That might fix the problem. It might be just not getting a, a full charge on your MacBook or wherever you have it plugged into. Now, if you've tried that, what I want you to do is replace the power cord. And I'll put a link in the comment section of this video to show maybe on Amazon where you can get one. But it could be that your power cord is just simply broken. And that's good news because that means that your iPad is, is probably fine. Which, you know, Apple, Apple iPads, Apple products in general are very tough. So don't think that your iPad's broken. All right, I do appreciate you watching. Make sure you subscribe.